You have been very open, and I treasure the fact that you're bravely acknowledging that you've had infertility issues. Yes. I know it's difficult to do. So I'll leave it to you. What's gone on in the last three years that has caused issues for you? Um, well, I, I initially I didn't know what what the issue was. I, I got off I got off birth control. I was I got married and I was ready to start a family. Um, and Married I Dwayne Wade, by the way. Yeah. Wonderful basketball player. Congratulations. Thank you. He, he has good taste in women. You should tell him. I I, I, I remind him of that daily. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I didn't think there was going to be any problem, and there was. So I was always having these early miscarriages, some through from IVF and some just, you know, naturally, you know, happening on our own. How many miscarriages did you have? I, literally, that's why I lost track. It's, it's somewhere like eight or nine, give or take. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was the most brutal because we told people and we were so excited. And, um, you know, you, you, you dream of, of this moment and those dreams were just crushed. And then they just happened in sort of rapid succession over the next few years. How has this affected you physically? Oh gosh, so with IVF, you know, it, there's bloating. And the bloating can mimic, it, you can actually look like you are in your second trimester of pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Which because, you know, there was like bump watch, you know, for <laughs> like, you know, a hundred times, you know, in the, in the last few years. Everyone's like, oh, she's pregnant, she's pregnant. And really, I'm just bloated, mm -hmm. trying to get pregnant. But the excitement just led to confirmation of pregnancy. And I'm like, there's no baby. And um, when it doesn't work, it can be absolutely devastating. And as women, we are, there's so many women hiding in plain sight, suffering in silence. Yeah. Nobody wants the world, which, which is what it feels like, the world to, to think that you're defective or less than a perfect woman or less than capable. And there, it's, there's just so much shame and mystery um, and guilt that surrounds fertility issues. And that's why I wanted to include it in my book because I'm tired of it. It needs to stop. Well, you don't look very defective to me. <laughs> I'm not. But, but, I, wanna, but I, I do want to ask you, though, it's, it's a lot to go through. Mm -hmm. And even hearing you describe it, I, I feel, I think we all feel the pain in your voice. Why was it so important to talk about it now? Why not talk about it in 10 years when this is all fixed and done? Why do you feel the urgency to be not in front of this? Because there's no reason to feel alone. There's no reason to suffer in silence. There's no reason to feel like you've, you're, you know, you're, you're SEAL Team 6 getting to a doctor's appointment because you're afraid of what someone's going to say about you know, a medical issue, which drives people further and further into the shadows. Yeah. And you're literally suffering in silence. And I'm saying no more, enough. It's the frustration you're expressing that I resonate to the most. I, I get it. And folks feel like they're defective. You use that word, and it's mm -hmm. the perfect word. And, it's so far off target of what's really going down. And it's remarkable that you've tackled it. I think it's not just infertility. You're doing this throughout your life. And you talk about it beautifully in the book. You have a very different perspective on balance, <laughs> which caught me off guard, right? And I got to say, we always talk about women needing to balance stuff out. Mm -hmm. Share with everybody your pretty passionate sentiment about this. Well, when I noticed, you know, I listened to my husband's interviews. He gets interviewed literally daily. No one has ever asked my husband, how do you balance it all? <laughs> you know, my husband has full custody of his kids. Like, you know, he's got a, a ton of brands going on. He plays basketball, he's won championships. No one has ever asked him about balance because there's no expectation for a man to have balance. As long as you bring home a check, that is balance. And that's when I decided I'm not answering this question ever again. I'm gonna find balance how I find balance and some days there will be no balance. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah, it is okay. And that's what gave me balance. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you know, trying to come up with some crazy answer about, well, you know, I just take time and I do yoga. No, I don't. <laughs> and those days, I'm just going to sit in front of the TV and watch Stranger Things and eat a tub of ice cream. That might be my balance that day. Some days I work out. That might be my balance that day. And the fact that we let men off the hook, I feel we should let women off the hook and stop asking that question. Find balance however you feel. Hallelujah. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.